Hello, welcome to All About the Bass. You can warm out. He's gone red. <laughs> I'm done already. I'm spent. <laughs> yes, welcome to All About the Bass. I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And today we are looking at what are we looking at? Sire. Hey, it's we haven't, we haven't touched on those before. But uh, but yeah, no, more more sire version twos. Okay, so specifically version twos. Version twos. Yes. Vintage range. Okay. So. Right. So, so, so I guess so. There's so we've got so we've got the V7. Yes, which is the standard kind of flagship. Model. Okay. And there's a V7 kind of standard, and then there's a V7 vintage, right? That's it. So you can get the V7 standard model in ash or alder bodies. Right. So with those come like a different combination of neck. Um, sort of material and scratch plate kind of look, uh, but equally there's the yeah the vintage V7 range, which again you get in ash or order fours and fives, fretlesses, um, there's loads. But there's a few little tweaks they make on the vintage series, um, aside from the normal V7s that right. make these a little bit unique, a bit more vintage, a bit more. It's exactly that, really. It, yeah, it's in the name. It <laughs> so, is. The clue's in the name. It is. That's, and what is that? Then what is that? So. Those are, so what they, they, they've kept um, uh, the gloss neck on right. this. So uh, where they've, the version 2s on the standard V7s at the moment are all satin mm -hmm. to get more of a modern feel. Um, this is kind of based on a, on a 70s Fender-esque uh, base, which would have had more of a gloss polyurethane neck. Okay. So they've kept that. So it's a gloss neck. Um, obviously, you've got the black binding around here. You've got the rolled fingerboard edges, which is a new feature for the version 2s for this okay, year. Okay, right. Uh, which makes it super, super comfy. Um, this is exactly the same preamp as you get in all the sires from, say, the, the V3, like this sort of entry range up to the V9. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all in the pickups, really, on this, that, that they change, uh, change the tonality. Okay. Um, so they're slightly underwound, so you've got more vintage voice to them. Um, and the spacing, they go for a 70s Fender spacing. Oof. Oh, Oof. yeah, to get right, in, right into the geekiness. So basically that means the bridge is, bridge pickup is closer to the bridge. Oh. So the other V7s you'll see as it's a touch forward, which again is more of where Fender have taken their bases as well. But oh, okay. um, some people like that 70s sound where they want a bit more out of the bridge, a bit more pokiness out of right, the bridge. Right, right. And you'll get it with this. Well, yes. How very exciting! I know, right? And equally, they've gone for the vintage style bridge, so more of a traditional Fender, uh, Fender style bridge. I keep saying Fender, I probably shouldn't be, um, but in that vein, <coughs> uh, and vintage style tuning pegs as well. Uh, so instead of the, uh, more, uh, the more sort of modern ones you got on the V7, and well, they so use the old. Uh, flip that over again. I see we've got so so we've gone away from this. Just like a, a little inlaid. Uh, I like that. Right. Yeah, that's so quite tasteful, isn't it? Instead of going to the um, yeah, so the, the plastic covering aesthetically, they've done this little little. I think that's ebony, <gasps> or um, or yeah, a little bit of a sort of wood battery cover. Very smart. Very smart. String through uh, body. Yeah. If, if that's what you want, or if you, you can, choose, or just through the bridge. You can put it through the bridge if you need. Um, and yeah, so, so obviously there's a little bit of difference. Um, I don't use notes too much, um, but when you're playing on the back pickup, so you're a little bit closer to the bridge. Right. So um, it's definitely going to have a honkier, punchier, more middly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, both because uh, you're playing further back and because the pickup is that much further back. Exactly. Right. No, that's it, man. So th this I do know. Yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> uh, right. So, so yeah, before we get out a bit of the range, so you can see behind us we've got um, anything from, say, fours and five strings. Uh, in the order and ash combinations. Very, very pretty uh, red metallic finish here. Red metallic, yeah. So that one is an ash body. Right. Um, I can tell that because of the colour of the scratch plate. It's where it gets a little bit cryptic. <sighs> cryptic. So the um, ash, <laughs> swamp ash bodies have tortoiseshell scratch plates. Right. Anything with black scratch plates you see here are alder. Wow. There we go. That's how you know. Yeah, and if you notice the vintage series, because they've got black inlays instead of the white inlays. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. So or that's that's how you can tell. No inlays like these lovely fretlesses. Right. Okay. But we'll uh, we'll get onto those in a minute. Were you just playing that one? Was that I, what you I went the, the, yeah. Before we. How we was that? Was that nice? Oh man, that that is lovely. Yeah, it, absolutely lovely. Um, really lovely setup on that. But on that particular one, just straight out of the box. Right. Um, really lovely sounding fretless. Um, but say so you got all those all the same same combinations of wood pickup styling, the underwound pickups on all of these. Um, and we should probably do a shootout at some point, just like the, the actual normal V7, you know, against the V7 vintage, see if there really is that audible sound between them. Because um, I can feel a, 
I can feel that extra kind of nasaliness, nasaliness right. <laughs> coming through. But equally, that's what I've been saying to a lot of the customers in the shop, you can do so much with these preamps. That well, that is the thing, isn't it, about the size? It's that preamp is the, is the killer, really. Because it, yeah. you've got, obviously, you've got the passive option too. Absolutely. Uh, which is great, makes it sound very nice and, uh, and original. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you sort of kick the active in and you've got this tremendous 18 volt active preamp oh, with three band parametric uh, on the mid, you know, it's uh, fantastic. This is it. And so a lot of people were saying, oh, do you know what? I, I kind of like that, the look of the black block inlays, but you know, I, want, I wanted a normal V7 really. And you know, actually it gets down to a lot of st style really for anyone, because you can, you can really tweak these to sound however you need really and equally between the v7 and the, and the vintage so but if you wanted black inlays for example or black scratch plate you need to go for the vintage range because they don't do it in the normal v7s okay if that's what floats your boat right. scratch plate color and block inlay color if you're that superficial if you're that superficial. <laughs> yeah. all right so listen should we uh, show the folks what it sounds like yeah because that's it. what it's all about isn't it let's get marcus out of the way cheers marcus is that him up there look at him yeah, oh, yeah in his hat. Hey, oh, I'm Marcus. Bless him. Come on, son. <laughs> you doing all right? He's you? not American. He's from Croydon. Is he really? Yes. Oh. I used to go around to see his nan. Went yeah. around to the Millers. That's right. Yeah. 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 One yeah. nanny Miller. Tea and biscuits with his nan. Oh. Right. So um, <laughs> let's uh, start off in passive. Oh. Right. And then if you're in passive mode, you've got volume and just a general tone there. That's right. And then pick up, uh, sweep. So mm -hmm. we'll start off back, pick up, tone off. Woo. Oh, hello. Uh, all right, let's see, let's see how that back pick up sounds. All right, nice. See, that's the trouble, you see, with this preamp, because it does so much. It, look, he's worn out, the poor boy. <laughs> he has to do that for about 10 minutes. See, 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 lots of see. I'm really bored. I'm bored myself. Oh, God, oh, God, kill me now. 
I know, man. I know. That's why I let you do it. No, I, do you know what? I love the bass, but I just get bored of what I'm playing. You know, like, oh, come on, Lee. Oh, you give me more there. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> anyway, so um, that's fantastic, man. Well, they, and that's how versatile that is, right? So you've got all those sounds out of that one bass. Shed. Shed lungs. loads. Shed lungs. Absolutely. Shed lungs. Shed, Shed lungs. lungs. I can't speak. <coughs> Shed. Shed. Hey! <laughs> Yes, so uh, that's fantastic, right? Oh, yeah, man, cool. What's happened to me? I don't know. This bass is so good. You look, you enjoy it. Can't speak anymore. Was that nice? I was. Right. Uh, yeah. So this is, it, as you said, loads and loads of options. I love that. I just love the that, mid that is great. Filter, isn't that feel. That if you could, you know, like a little control just to bring that in and out, just automatically. Well, you just need a, a, a little man on stage to come <laughs> up and do that while you just through the whole gig, <laughs> doing your filter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, man, no, love it. And actually, again, I've always said about these gloss necks, I'd say we prefer, and we talked about it before, that satin feels to, to the neck finish, but they, they use a really nice comfy gloss on this that it doesn't actually, we haven't played it for hours or anything, so I don't really know how, how long it, how it sort of stands up like, like, over that sort of time, but it feels really, really comfy. Mm. Just, you know. Well, it's, it's a personal thing, isn't it? and uh, it's, it's all right. Yeah. I mean, it's, like I said, I'm, I'm a satin neck. I prefer a satin so but obviously guy. a lot of people you don't. A lot of people like the, the authentic, what, what they used to have, you know. So yeah, that's it. It's, it's uh, each to his own and all that. And all that jazz. Yeah. All that jazz bass. All that jazz is, all those jazz bases. All those jazzes. Um, so we've got, um, so as you said, right at the end there, you've got a nice five string fretless. Ah! Da, 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 Look at da, da, that. Da, da. That's a beaut. And these come with flat round strings. Hurrah! Yeah. That's what you want on a fretless bass, some nice flat rounds. Yeah, we've seen before. So like a lot of lot of brands just uh, we come know, out the box cheaper. with round wound on. Round wound strings and round round round. Um, and you can't. Um, you, you can you can use them on the bass. I mean, uh, I say I've said before, but I know that in my personal experience, using them on a rosewood board, I just I did it and just chopped up, like chewed up all this board. Just, yeah. Like, there's loads of grooves down it that's just. Yeah. Doesn't look very good now. Maple is going to be a lot hard, harder wearing, um, and it's interesting to say about these because Sire seems to be the only guys bringing back maple fretless boards. Um, and again, it was a '70s thing for Fender, yep. um, unlined with Fender, so it was just yeah, a big slab of maple. You just had to guess, right? Um, <laughs> but yeah, at least they're giving you some lines on it. Hey. But so I think it's a really, really smooth feeling fretless fretless board that they use you know obviously it's, this is uh, lacquered as well so it's very smooth under the fingers yes um, and with the flat rounds even more so, so yeah too right lovely yeah the so same we've got four strings in those as well um we these are alder alder v7 vintage fretlesses you can also get ash v7 vintage fretlesses have they got tortoise shell scratch plates on they have hey see that's it man i'm learning torty guards that's the one see yeah that's how you know that's the way. Um, I'm going to come in the shop one night. I'm going to break in. I'm going to change all the uh, all the tags and see if I notice. No, I'm going to change all the these over. Scratch plates. Yeah, and oh. just mess everybody up. Oh mate. Yeah, don't do that. And then, and obviously, nick the money out the tills. Well, and then nick the money. <laughs> Otherwise, there'd be no point. Would it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're going to be there a long time. <laughs> it's that much money. Oh, I see yeah, with those with the scratch plates. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll bring uh, an estate car in for the cash. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, so yeah, do you want to have a play, mate? I can do, I can do. What do you want me to uh, have a go on? What do you fancy? Not fretless. Do you want to play, yeah, play the five string fretless? Oh, for a laugh thing, go on. Go on. Is, I'm really not a fretless dude. Go but, on, uh, go on. For a laugh, go on, I'll do it. Right, where are we? So... So you're the... going to do the same sort of thing, just go through all the different to... ta sounds and... Oh yeah, you've got tone off. Yeah, cool. So oh. we're on passive. I'll be playing this all out of tune. Oh, yeah. Nice. So yeah, we are on passive mode. Uh, back pick up, tone off. Mm-hmm. 
you get there Nicely eventually. done. Yeah, a bit of everything. Bit of everything. So yeah, we started off in passive mode. Back pickup, front pickup, boat pickups, tone on and off, and then um, just playing around with a little bit of EQ. So you've got bass end first, middle, you can hear that nice swooping. Oh, yes. And a little fiddle with the filter. Mm -hmm. uh, filter fiddling. Filter fiddling. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And uh, yeah, well, it sounds great. It sounds great. It sounds lovely with that, just Even knocking with the me treble playing. off a little bit. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Shut it. <laughs> All right. Good. So, this is, yeah, this is we really got, this So is there's a a, millions of different combinations, obviously. There's other finishes. There's other finishes we, have, we don't have here. There's, um, there's some sunbursts in, in everything. We've got like see-through uh, white blondes in some of the ash finishes. See through, see through your white blonde. Hey, see. Um, yeah, loads of but say look on look on the site um, and say so this is the V7 vintage side of um, their range. There are the normal V7s if you prefer more of a modern take on the jazz bass with all that that uh, that, <laughs> that preamp option as well. Um, again, with fr with fretless versions of five strings and ash and order and uh, everything. Something for everybody. Everything you need. Whatever your requirements, buy one of each. Why not? Because they're very reasonable. Have we talked about the price? <laughs> we haven't. Well, how much are they? Rough. <laughs> <laughs> So you're Thank right, you, so man. between 450 and 650. 450, Depending on what configuration you yeah, want. Yeah, or if you want frets or not. Or frets, fretters, order, five strings, five string ash, fours, all, the, all between there. And you will find also some version one um, uh, uh, vintage, V7 vintages left that we got on a bit of a sale as well. So oh. you'll see on those, um, because they're kind of discontinued, oh, okay. there'll be a few deals if you fancy grabbing some of those. Oh, well. well, hurry while stocks last, because they're very nice too. Deals. Dealy Dan. Deals. Your favourite band. Yes, man. <laughs> Cool. All right. Uh, well, that's cool. I think that just about wraps that up. Yeah. Absolutely. Here, there we are. So, oh, V. We could we, yes? Probably just say we're playing through Gallin and Kruger and Aguilar. Ah, nobody cares. But you're hearing it DI'd. Yeah, you are, so that doesn't make any difference. No. difference. Uh, it's cool. All right, lovely. Well, that just about wraps up this. So, this is the version 2, no, V2. That's it. I'll get so confused. Right, say it, really. Sire version 2 V7 vintage range. See? That's what it is. Go and look at the website and uh, <laughs> enjoy it. Yeah. This has been All About the Bass. Huh? I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, come and uh, check us out again. We'll see you next time. Bye now. Hey, four. Oh yeah, never finish up the middle eight. <laughs> 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 what do you want?